What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4, and I'm here to bring you guys more Battlefield 1 online multiplayer gameplay. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it, by the way, because so far for me, it has been super fun. I've been playing Battlefield 1 since Tuesday, and I'm telling you, it has been fun 24 7. And by the way, the gameplay in the background, I ended up getting 61 kills. If you guys saw uh, yesterday's gameplay that I posted up, I ended up getting 51 kills in total. Well, I went up by 10 this time, and this happened right after. You know, uh, the, the the next day after I got 51 kills, and uh, I'm getting better, guys. What did I tell you guys in my previous video? If I study the maps, if I learn the pathways, I'll be, you know, doing way better than just 51 kills. And I just got 61, which is my, you know, so far my highest amount of kills in a single match. And it's on Conquest, by the way. So, uh, so far, so good with this weapon. And by the way, the weapon that I'm using is called the Lewis Suppressor, I believe. Lewis Gun Suppressor. Lewis Gun Suppressed, I think. I don't know, <laughs> but that's the name of the gun. It's from the LMG division. It's it's uh, super fine to use. I already explained everything in my previous video, but I'm going to say it again. It's a great mid-range uh, weapon to use because, you know, it does have a good amount of uh, damage power. And also the recoil is kind of stable. It depends on how you uh, read the, you know, the shooting pattern. It's just, it's up to you to get comfortable with it. Because so far for me, it has been super comfortable. I've been shooting people down. I've been shooting, shooting hordes of enemies. You know, they come like in pack of fives and I'll take them all out. There was a lot of moments in this match where there was like a big ass line of enemies. And all I had to do is just hold down R2 and take them all down. Like it was fucking funny. The problem was that my PS4 can only record for 15 minutes, so uh, that's not going to come out in this video, which kind of sucks because that was an epic moment. Like, I was hiding in the trenches in this map, and damn, you know, I was just, you know, they were just coming in over and over and over again through the same passage, which they just, it's like they never learn at all. Like, a lot of people just don't study the maps. So anyways, uh, today we're going to be talking about the map that I'm currently playing in. It's called the Argon Forest or Argon or however people want to call it because uh, it is spelled A-R-G-O-N-N-E. I say Argon. I think it's Argon, right? If I'm wrong, you guys can correct me on that in the comment section. I don't really mind. But um, this map so far for me has been super good. Uh, it also depends on your teammates, you know, if they're all just freaking camping all the way in the back with snipers, of course nothing's gonna get done, but when you got rushers, you got teammates that actually want to win the game and they're trying to learn the map, you're gonna be able to have a nice match, a lot of people are gonna go against each other. Another thing that I like about this map is that there's no tanks, except for a train, so that's the only thing you gotta worry about, about heavy machinery, but the rest of the fucking ma match is just head up, head to head gunning. And that's what I like, man. You guys know me. You know, I come from Call of Duty and all I've just been facing is enemies. I don't deal with vehicles or anything because I believe, you know, hiding behind a tank is a coward mood. That's just for pussies, man. Like, really, go out there and gun people down, man. That's what I recommend to everybody out there in Battlefield 1. That's all I'm going to teach here in this channel for you two guys to, like, uh, gun down enemies instead of using pussy-ass tanks and just hide and, you know, do montages with tank kills or bullshit like that. Fuck no. It's about straight-up gunning. So, anyways, Argon Forest kind of reminds me a lot about Operation Locker and also Operation Metro. I'm not sure that's the correct names, but... That's how I kind of remember them from Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. Um, it's it's pretty much linear. Uh, the, the map is pretty much tight. Every time, you know, I said to myself, like, huh, I believe forests are supposed to be big and massive and, you know, with like kind of like a little bit of a flat terrain and just a bunch of trees in there. Like, that's what I thought it was, this map was going to be. But when I stepped into the match, I was like, this freaking map is just so linear that it's just fun. Because at the same time I'm holding an LMG, they're coming into a big line of enemies, like, they're just back to back of each other. I can just hold R2 all day and just kill everybody. That's what's so fun about this, and when I learned about this LMG, I mean, it's just made it even better. Because when I first played on this map, I was using the MP5, I believe, or whatever else rifle there was. And, um, you know, I was getting killed all the time, and... I wasn't doing good my first three times that I played on this map, but after a while, after I learned about the LMGs, i just been doing good. You know, I've been, I've been averaging like around 30 to 35 kills per game play on this map, and it's pretty much, you know, been very successful for me. And this map, so far, I consider it as my number one because, you know, it's tight. A lot of enemies are back-to-back -to -back of each other, 
and uh, there's not a lot of ways to go but forward <laughs> pretty much and also you can sneak around there's some secret pathways in the map that you guys might want to learn about so make sure you study this map this map is going to rack up them kills guys you can probably end up going like over 100 kills at some point because if you learn the map and you learn how to get behind the enemy it's just going to be easy kills from there on out so that's all I wanted to talk about today, guys. Uh, check out this map. It's pretty much fun. Hargon Forest. I'll be talking about other maps, too. Don't worry. I'll talk about the worst map that I can think of. And I already know which one is, is the worst one so far. And yes, it's the beta one. So that's it, guys. If you guys want to see more Battlefield 1, make sure to subscribe for more because there's going to be more content coming up.